Hong Kong has been hit by major protests that started in June when a bill about possible extradition of criminal suspects to mainland China was introduced. Hong Kong used to be a British colony, but it was returned to China in 1997, and since then it has enjoyed a special status, giving the territory a certain autonomy from China and its people more freedom under the one country, two systems arrangement. The protests started due to the extradition bill, but they continued even after the government withdrew the bill as protesters now demand full democracy. Hundreds of thousands of people in Hong Kong have taken to the streets to demand more freedom from China. These violent demonstrations have worried the international business community as Hong Kong is one of the world's major financial centers. The local stock market, the fifth biggest in the world by value of the listed companies, has been affected by the protests, especially property and retail stocks. However, the stock market has been quite resilient despite the protests and negative impacts have been somewhat contained. Tourism, a major component of Hong Kong's economic success, fell by 26% in September compared to the same period in 2018. Retail sales have been strongly hit as well, especially when it comes to luxury goods. In October, business activity in Hong Kong fell by its fastest rate in over 20 years. And as if internal turmoil was not enough, the trade war between China and the United States is also impacting the territory. Exports have been falling, especially exports to China and the U.S., two major trade partners for Hong Kong. Imports have fallen as well the past few months. Demonstrations have forced schools and businesses to shut down, sometimes for days at a time, and transportation from one area of the city to another has become extremely difficult. In the three months from July to August, Hong Kong fell into its first recession since the financial crisis of 08, and the negative trend is expected to continue through the end of the year. Without an end to protests or an end to the Sino-American trade war in sight, economists expect the slowdown experienced by the economy of Hong Kong to continue into 2020. This puts the future of the territory as Asia's leading financial center into question, and Hong Kong could also lose its third place behind New York and London as the leading world financial centers. The status of Hong Kong as Asia's largest financial center relies on its ease of doing business, its stability, its position between China and the rest of the world, as well as the rule of law. Losing this status would be a disaster for Hong Kong, as investors might turn to Singapore, Tokyo, or Shanghai instead. These factors are now under great pressure, and any major change could mean the end of Hong Kong as one of the most important financial hubs in the world.